What's up guys, today I have really really cool 3D printer, actually the smallest 3D printer in the world, called Vido Tina Va. So, let's start. Okay, when we speak about accessories, regardless the 3D printer itself, we are going to receive these accessories. So basically we are going to receive one filament in the random color. Uh, USB cable, some parts and tools. Basically, you are you are not going to receive many different uh, tools because the printer itself is already assembled, and you don't need to as assemble anything, as you saw in the beginning of the video. Uh, some papers protection for the leveling bed, and some user menu which from what you can see is really short but don't worry it says everything you need to know to start printing but also you are going to receive as you can see the SD card on which is in PDF complete uh, full user manual for this uh, Vidu Tina 2 3D printer so basically you are going to receive everything you need to have for starting use this 3D printer. So now I'd like to show you how the smallest 3D printer in the world looks. The first thing you already have noticed that this machine is really really small and comparing with my speaker it is much much smaller and this is really cool but also you can see it does not take too much space on your working area. When we speak of uh, building quality, I can say that this printer is fairly good quality because the case itself is made from good quality plastic. So basically every part of the case is made from the plastic. Also, uh, I'd like to show you what kind of buttons, ports, and other stuff it has so basically on the top of the device you can already see that it has a SD card slot reset button screen and normal button for the going to the user interface on the right side we have as you can see USB port and power pa uh, adapter port you can make you can you could see that this printer uh, does not have power on off switch but don't worry because you are going to receive power supply which has on the cable power on off switch so basically with power supply which has power on off switch you are going to turn on or turn off the device itself on the front side of the printer itself, you can see the main features of this device. And this is the working area for 3D printing. But also, if you have maybe noticed, this is from the Chinese company Vido and they recommend this printer for the beginners and also it says for the kids. But I have to say that this printer can be used for the kids because it has several uh, features with, which protects kids, like this metal guard, it protects to get touched the hot, hot band and because hot end is 200 degrees you can hold your hand. Also it works with 12 volts adapter so not high voltage and it provides auto leveling you don't need to bother with the leveling hot bed basically it is really prepared for beginners like kids and other people who want to join 3D printer world on the left side we have filament holder for the filament of course and that's it because on the back side of the printer you don't have nothing and you can't see nothing special about that. So overall this is really really 
interesting machine which can be good even for professionals. So this is how it looks the upper side of this machine. Basically on this side we have a reset button as the card slot, the display and the potentiometer or the button. So basically with this button you control the printer itself. So basically with one push we go to the menu and here we can control the printer, prepare the printer you can out of fit filament, restrict filament, move axis out of hole, level the bed, disable steppers so basically you have all possibilities in the menu but also you can adjust temperature the offset settings Wi-Fi because it has Wi-Fi language it supports several different languages as you can see it looks the user interface the button and everything this looks really really cool And when you insert the SD card, it will show print from the SD card. Then you choose this option and select the file which you want to start printing. So basically, as you can see, the user interface is very simple and basically it can be used by everyone. The other thing which I really like about this 3D printer is actually this magnetic flexible print bed. It is magnetic and because of that you don't need to screw it on the hot bed, you just put it like this and it is sticked on the hot bed. And also when you are done with printing you don't need to struggle to remove it, you just remove it like this, quite easy. And the other thing when you are done with printing, the all modules which are on the plate you just go like this because it, it is flexible go like this and the module which have been printed will pop out without any hassle so basically it is quite easy to use this flexible magnetic print bed for maintenance and also for printing modules because you can quite easily remove it from the plate and also you can quite easily put it back to the printer like this so, as I said earlier, this printer is very good for beginners, but also for some people who don't want to waste time on some complications during printing. it is complete now let's see what kind of printing quality we can expect with this 3d printer tell me in the comments what kind of animal is this so as you can see this is the final product of this 3d process with uh, we do Tina 2 printer and basically for the first print I have decided to print a really cool small uh, snake as you can see and as you can see it works really nice also talking about printing quality 
I can say that printing quality is very good for this kind of printer at this price range group. Basically, I have used uh, for slicing their video uh, program and normally I have downloaded some module from internet and sliced with the program with standard settings and this happened after 35 minutes of printing. So basically for this small snake it took 35 minutes which is really cool and basically as you can see the printing quality is good but also if you want a better quality uh, still this printer can provide better printer quality if you need because you can adjust settings for better printing quality but with normal standard settings still the printing quality is okay and you can do anything from really cool stuff like snakes but also for some professional use also so basically this printer is not only for the fun also if you can tell me in the comments what kind of modules you have personally printed. so basically if you are thinking to buy a 3d printer for your kids or for some beginner like yourself then for sure you need to consider Guido Tina 2 this machine because this machine is very easy to use it came already assembled so basically you don't need to assemble this printer also it features auto leveling feature and with this option uh, the machine itself will auto level the hot bed you don't need to do nothing and when you do that you are good to go with printer also the user interface is very simple and mostly important it is more or less safe for the kids because it uses 12 volts uh, power supply not 212 and also it has some protection like this guard so that you, uh, where there is high temperature during printer so basically as you see it has several features for protection of kids and also it is very simple to use so it is good for beginners kids and everyone who wants to join 3d printing world so basically for this price range this machine is very good choice if you want to buy some this kind of printer in my opinion Vido Tina 2 is very good printer also if you have many maybe this device please in comments tell me what do you think about this device thank you bye